Hello everyone. In today's session, we will be doing one of the previous year question. This question says we are given the uniformly magnetized sphere of radius capital R has a magnetization in the direction of z. So let's say this is a z direction. So we are given the scalar magnetic potentials. So first is m naught by three z. when r is less than capital r and we are given m not by 3 r cube by r square cos theta when r is more than or equal to r so these are the scalar potentials and r and theta are the two spherical coordinates this is the information we are given so we will be using this information to find out the magnetic field inside and outside the this magnetized sphere how do we calculate this magnetic field by taking out the negative of gradient of scalar potential so let's find out for the inside case so we just have to let's denote it with h n for inside so we will find out this gradient phi m when r is less than r so let's put the phi m value for r less than r so this is this is m not z over 3 so it is dependent on z only so we will find out the differentiation the partial differentiation with z only so let's see so r the magnetic field inside the sphere will be minus m not by 3 it is in the direction z so the magnetic field this b is equal to v mu not h plus m this is a magnetization so we can add because we are inside so there is a magnetization of m not so it's a uniformly magnetized so we will put the value of h so this will be minus m not by 3 z and this magnetization is also in z direction so let's quickly do the calculation this will comes out to be 2 by 3 m not z so we get the magnetic field as 2 by 3 mu not m not z so this is a b inside let's find out for the outside case so we have to find out the h out by doing the gradient for r more than or equal to capital r so let's put the scalar potential so this is m not over 3 r cube r square cos theta so we have our scalar potential in r and theta spherical coordinates so we have to write down this gradient in the form of spherical coordinates so let's write this out so this this is del r cap del over del r m not by 3 r cube r square cos theta this is theta cap 1 over r del over del theta so this is r cube over r square cos theta so let's do the differentiation we have no dependence on phi so we can neglect this so let's quickly solve this so, so we have to differentiate this 1 by r square here and in this we have to do the del over del theta 
cos theta so let's do the differentiation this will comes out to be m naught over 3 r cube cos theta this is minus 2 over r cube and this is m naught 3 r cube over small r cube this is minus sine theta so h outside will become minus r cap m naught over 3 r cube cos theta minus 2 over r cube plus theta cap m naught over 3 r cube over r cube minus sin theta so let's take this minus sign in so this will get simplified to 2 m naught by 3 r cube over small r cube cos theta r cap plus this will become m naught over 3 r cube r small r cube sine theta theta cube so this is the r h out so, so we will find out the magnetic field outside the sphere so this will be mu naught h so this is out so this is out and this is magnetization outside the sphere so this m out is zero outside the sphere the magnetization is zero so this will go to zero and we are left with magnetic field outside this pair will be mu naught so we will put the this whole expression here in this we will get 2 m naught over 3 r cube r cube cos theta r cap plus m naught over 3 r cube r cube sine theta theta cap So this is our magnetic field. This is a magnetic field outside the sphere. So this is the solution for this part. If you have any doubts related to this problem, you can write me in the comment box. And if you find this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching this video.